We've had a drop in the number of Americans who say that the price of gasoline is the number one problem facing the nation. Maybe this isn't surprising given that the price of gas has come down over the last several weeks. Let's look at this in perspective. Back in February, only 3% of Americans in our monthly update on the most important problem question mentioned gas prices. By June, that had jumped all the way to 25%. Last month in July, down a little to 23%. And this month, down considerably to just 15%. Still higher than it was, but as the price of gasoline goes down, so does top of mind concern that this is the biggest problem facing the country, at least based on our random samplings of Americans. The economy, still a big problem. In fact, almost six out of 10 Americans now say something about the economy is the nation's biggest problem. So that's really not down. It's just that gas prices are down, other economic concerns up a little more. Let's look at some of the other most important problem mentions in our update this month. 19% say the war in Iraq, about the same as last month. That's down. What comes after economic concerns and then the war in Iraq? Well, it is dissatisfaction with government, corruption. Then comes lack of energy in general, the energy crisis, not the price of gas, but this is coded as energy in general. Below that, health care, and below that, ethics, morality, lack of family values. Despite the fact that the price of gas has come down, fewer Americans mentioning it as the top problem, we don't have a highly satisfied bunch of Americans out there. 17%, I should say, only 17% of Americans say they're satisfied with the way things are going, same as last month, and clearly a bunch of dissatisfied Americans, disgruntled Americans, still sitting out there across the country. I'm Dr. Frank Newport, Editor-in-Chief of the Gallup Poll.